What's up guys? So with only a few hours to go before the launch of the Alpha of Arc World, let's go talk about is land worth it to own? Should you rent it? Is it a good deal? Is it a good investment? And so forth. Let's take a guess here because that's all this is, is a guess on whether it's worth it or not. You buy land from OpenSea.io. You have to buy it with this cryptocurrency called Clay. So Clay is currently around 25 cents per Clay. You can see these are the lands that are for sale. It just gives you a area location. So this is Arkham Iris, and this is a standard. So this is a 16 by 16. The land is a little bit different in Arc World than Arc Age. There is no farms. There is no 8 by 8 scarecrows or anything like that. It's a 16 by 16, and then it's a 16 by 24 is the next land group. So it does not look like there is a farmhouse in Arc World. We'll know more once the alpha drops, but as of now, there's five different types of houses. So we have the standard. We have the medium, and then we have the large, so mediums, and we have large. Oh, that was a medium. The large right here. It's the lowest price is 2700 currently. Then we have the extra large, and then there is a mega size. So you can see things look to be quite expensive. And if you played Arc Age, Arc Age, you know, brings back memories of wanting land and growing your crops and having a house, you know, the dream of everyone. But realistically, it wasn't that important to have a house in Arc Age. This is going to be different, though, supposedly in Arc World. The game is being designed around land ownership, and having a house is supposed to be very, very important. You can see the cheapest and the only kind of mega that's up here is 62,000 clay. That is a lot of money. There's a couple more clays up here, uh, a couple more megas up here. And again, 62,000. But just because it's listed for this much does not mean that it actually sells for that much. If you look over here, you can see this one is listed for 120,000. But the last sale was actually sold for 14,000 clay. So... The prices are definitely inflated, and it doesn't mean that they're actually going to sell for that price. Depending on how things go in the alpha, these are either going to go up or down in value. So let's take a look at a guess about what's going to happen with the alpha. So if you're going to need a house, there's two ways to get a house. It's to buy a house from the open sea right now, or to rent a house from the game company or another player who has actually purchased the house. So the thing is, do you actually need to have a house 24-7, or are you better off just renting a house for whenever you need to do crafting, you know, uh, crafting things? Because in your house, you're going to have a bed, which is going to give you labor. That's the most important reason, I think, to actually have a house, because labor is not generated passively anymore via time. Labor is generated via sleeping in a bed and potential quest lines and also the arc pass. So labor is very, very limited. Depending on how much labor you get from your house could make it worthwhile to actually own a house because now you have a continuous source of labor, whereas people that don't have a house don't get that extra sleep labor regeneration. So that is the big selling point of having a house currently that we know of. The other big selling point is they said in the future, you're going to be able to build your ships your cars, your vehicles, uh, and upgrade your gears and things like that in your house. You're going to have to do it at a house. So that stuff isn't as important to actually owning a house because these are crafting recipes. And you're simply going to have to craft something you know, one or two times. If you're upgrading your gear, you could simply rent it for a day or a week, depending on how long they allow the rental process for, and then craft all that you need and then forget about it. You don't need a house anymore. So the big selling point is having the house for the bed is the bed worth it this is where you have to take a guess and also with the fact of growing crops since there is no illegal farms you cannot plant crops out in the wild growing crops could actually be very very profitable but this runs into the problem of if the world is generating enough public free crops so if the free world like hay and goats and sheep are, are constantly spawning and that is enough materials that the game players do not need 
any more crops from the actual players and from from the houses then that kind of makes the house farming aspect kind of worthless but what we saw was there wasn't enough trees and logs in the world so log prices were incredibly high so i think that land will always have some value because i don't think the world generates enough resources for everyone to play but again this also depends on how many people are actually playing Ark World, and that's the big question is if a lot of people if the server is on the fairly full side so they said the server is going to host around 10 to 20 thousand players and 5 thousand concurrent players is going to be their max so if you can get to a server that has say you know two or three thousand concurrent players on it on normal then i'd say a house is actually a really good investment to have because the resources that you're going to be able to grow on your house are going to be highly in demand. If the population is a lot lower and there's only about 500 concurrent players, something kind of like the Arc Age that is available on live right now, and there's a very small population, there's you know a rate or two for each faction, and that's about it, then I don't think having a house is actually worthwhile. So that is my opinion on this. We will take a look at the housing prices after the beta, the alpha period here ends and see what has happened. But as of now, the smallest house is approximately 1,000 clay, which is about 250 USD. And then it goes all the way up. The medium houses are currently around 1650, which is about $400. The large houses are about 3,000 give or take a little bit and that is about um let's say 750 dollars or so and of course different locations are more valuable uh, villanella will always be more valuable than some other areas because there is temperate and you do want certain climates for your houses and it also is just a nicer area so i will talk to you guys later i think it is worth it if the population is you know, above average of what we're seeing in Arc Age Live game. If the population is low, like what we're seeing on Arc Age Live right now, then I would say house is not worth it and you don't need a house. But if the population is good, which there's a very good chance because this is an Asian server that is servicing all the entire world right now like you can play if you're an english player in the asian server you can play if you're a european player in the Eng in the asian server yes your ping will be bad but everyone and anyone that wants to play is available to play arc world on the asian server there are some regions surprisingly korean is actually blacklisted and can't play but they can also just use vpns and then play on the server so the korean is a supported language of the game and you can jump in so i think having the entire worldwide population that wants to play arc age i think we will get about 5,000 concurrent players on this server because i think in the world i think there is definitely you know more than 5,000 players that want to play a new different version of arc age anyways i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching good luck and we'll see you in game in a few hours